Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this video I'll explain how to update your profile settings and how to add your photo to your LMS profile. To view your profile you can simply click on your name in the top right hand side of the screen and as you can see I don't have anything in my profile at the moment and over here on the left hand side in the navigation area you can sit and click on edit my profile. Most of the settings you can leave as they are. You can't control the name, surname and email that comes through from Callista um, by the Murdoch system. Okay, you can select who does or doesn't see your email so you, the default setting is allow only other unit members to see it but you have other choices there if you wish to change it. The email format default is set to pretty HTML format. I would leave it at that because that means you can make things bold and underlined. The email digest type, the default setting is no digest, a single mail per forum post. Now this is one setting I do suggest that you change as at the moment with this every time someone posts anything to one of the discussion forums you will receive an email. I suggest the best setting for this is subjects daily. This way you'll get one email at the end of the day with a list of those discussion forums and the subjects that have been added to them and that way you won't get inundated with email messages. Auto subscribe to the forum. The default is yes when I post subscribe me but you can choose not to automatically subscribe if you want to and you can change those settings in the forums as well. Forum tracking, no don't keep track of posts I've seen or yes highlight new posts. I would suggest that you highlight new posts so that you can see any new messages that have come in since you last visited the LMS. Okay, leave your editor the same. If you have vision impairment you might want to change the screen reader to yes. These two fields, city, town and country uh, compulsory fields, they've got the little red asterisk next to them saying that it must be something entered so if these are blank make sure you add something and in my case I can put Mount Hawthorne and Australia is correct. You don't need to put anything in the description. And the last thing that we want to have a look at is the user picture. If possible I would like you all to add a current picture of yourself. Something similar to your Murdoch ID photo would be great because with online learning we can't actually see each other face to face like we would in this a classroom setting and being able to see what someone looks like does help you connect and relate to that person. So if you could add your photo that would be fantastic. And to do that you simply click on this little add button at the top there you should be on upload a file here and then you simply click on choose a file. You go to your computer and find where you have a photo of yourself stored on your computer. Select the image and you will see the name of the file added there. And I'm just going to type in Jenny Parker photo and click on upload this file. You'll see the image has been added. If you wanted to put a description in there, you can just type your name. And once you've finished that, you can click on Update Your Profile. Once you've added your picture to your profile, you'll find that when you post things to the discussion forums, that your little picture icon will come up beside your post. I'm just going to go into one of the forums and show you what that looks like. As you can see it here with the discussion, where it says started by, you can see my name and also my image that I've added to my profile. I encourage you to add your photo and to start developing your online social presence. 